Hi, my name is Sham Chandra, and today we'll talk about platform firmware resiliency. In a server, the CPU and BMC each booting from its own spy memories. These spy memories can get infected on a manufacturing line on a, while the system is in transit by a system integrator or through cyber attack. So how can we prevent the infecting of the spy memory? How can we detect the spy memory infection or recover from it? National Institute of Standards and Technology provides guidelines for protection, detection, and recovery. This is called Platform Firmware Resiliency, or PFR. Here, a root of trust device is used to monitor the spy traffic and protect the spy memory. Use cryptographic instruments to measure and detect infection and use trusted recovery process to recover from infection. There are two ways to implement NIST compliant PFR. One is using a root of trust device based on microcontroller or ROTMCU. In a board, ROTMCU comes on first, measures the spy memory, detects the errors, and recovers from it. After that, the control PLD is used to turn the board power on. And then the protect PLD in conjunction with ROT CPU is used to protect the PLDs from further attacks. Lattice offers a better solution through the use of root of trust FPGA. This root of trust FPGA integrates the root of trust microcontroller, the control PLD, as well as the protect PLD. This solution is not bypassable because it integrates all of the power management functions. Because the solution is scalable, it can be used to comprehensively cover all the firmware on the board. Lattice makes it easy for you to implement PFR and reduce your time to market. It provides PFR IPs, a soft microcode, so that you can implement the PFR functions using C code. The compiled C code is then downloaded into root of trust FPGA and using a PC, send commands to this code and test it. To learn more about platform firmware resiliency, visit our website. Thank you for watching.